I'm using a lot of smoke today because these bees here that I'm looking through were kind of grumpy the first time I brought them home. But um, I'm really, really excited to look through this colony. The queen in here has been through hell and back. I would not be surprised if she's dead or gone. I brought the I got these bees out of a tree. I didn't get the queen. I took this queen that I had in my room in a box for two weeks with like ten bees. I don't know how she stayed alive. Um, the smoke is going out. That's why I got to puff it a lot. But I did give them a frame of eggs and brood and everything just in case they didn't keep her. Um, so we'll see if I see queen cells I know she's gone if I don't then she might be in there this is the first time I've gone through them oh I have bees coming at me in every direction I got bees behind me right here that you can't see, right next to you that you can't see. So they're trying to go on my shorts, but it's too hot out here. I have a suit on. Oh, all right, let's see what we got. I also gave them really crappy old combs to clean up. see what they're doing are they doing anything okay yeah they definitely have they're definitely putting away plenty of nectar and pollen you know typical beekeeping stuff nectar and pollen if she's in here I'm gonna really be shocked here's a foundationless frame I put in they built that brand new. Nice. It looks like all... This looks like all drone or storage comb. It's really big. It's full of nectar. Those cells are actually so big. They're comically big, which makes me think they're queenless. So let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm right. Probably going to be wrong. Here's the frame of eggs and brood that I put in here. And oh, look, they got queen cells at the bottom. See that? See that big old beautiful giant peanut down there? So that tells me all I need to know. They put her out of her misery. There's one, two, three, four. Five, six. There's at least six queen cells on this frame. I'll just look anyway. Maybe she's in here. If she's in here with all those queen cells, I'm going to take her and put her in another colony. Look at this ratty frame I gave them so they can fix it up. Yeah, they're not really fixing it too well yet. <clears throat> oh, yeah, here's a foundationless one they're not even not even working on. Might have to move that. Yep, they just got a bunch of nectar in here. Um, yeah, nothing else to see. There's no way that other queen laid anything, so there's no 
screwed or anything. It's just basically one frame of cap screwed with queen cells now and a whole bunch of frames of nectar and pollen. So I'm going to close them up. close them up and let them let them finish raising that queen and that's it so that's the verdict my miracle queen that stayed alive for two weeks in my room in a box may have she may have just uh, became infertile or something or was just too stressed out and they ended up offing her and making queen cells, so that's cool. Um, the queen that they're raising is very long time. From a very long time line of bees that I have here that have survived every year since I've been here without treatments, as always. And that's it for this one. Maybe I'll look through a couple more and add to the video. Okay, so I just figure what the, oh look at this they got a dead queen out front wow I just came here to look at these bees and they got a dead queen right out front I wonder if that's the one from over there I don't know but there's that I'm gonna, now I'm gonna I really just wanted to see what I could see in here I've had these bees for about eight or nine days from a swarm that I got in Exeter. I always get really good bees in Exeter. I don't know why. Um, but I'll check these and maybe maybe they might be queenless. If they're queenless, I better get on it. Figure out what the heck's going on. This was a monstrosity of a swarm. I also want to see if I have to add an extra box right away. They might actually need that. And as usual, all the bees I get next to are black bees, which I love. But let's see. Yeah, they are really, there's a ton of bees in here. Wow, they really built a lot of comb in that little bit of time. Wow, this is a really heavy, heavy storage frame. They filled in all, this was only a half a frame of comb. They built all that new comb on the right side, on your left. They're really loud. I don't know if you can hear that, but they are loud, loud. Okay, they have cap brood in here already. So maybe it's been nine days. Yeah, they got cap brood on this side. All I want to see is some, oh yeah. That frame's completely laid up. Maybe they superseded their old queen, I don't know. Wow, this was foundationless when I put it in. They already built that. That had nothing on it. Built that whole frame in 
Oh no, they didn't build that. That's dark comb. Mm -hmm. They fixed the top though. They're so loud. It sounds like a damn jet engine. This side, this side you can't see it, but turn it around. Got that big ass piece of comb. Let me see if I can get that off of there. I don't know where that came from. Might have fell off of another frame. Sign of a queen yet. Ugh. Killing my back. Um, let's see. I don't know if I want to put that right back in there like that. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely need another box right away. They have this thing already totally full. Wow, this one's heavy too. Man, they really went to town in here. Oh yeah. Totally laid up. Cap root on this side. Yeah. Oh cool, here's what I wanted to see. Put a really nasty mousy frame in here just to see what it would look like. See what they did to it. I wrote yucky on the top. This is it. They just cleaned out all the ratty part. They chewed out all those, all the wax mothy parts. Ah. And they're rebuilding it so it looks good. This is totally heavy with nectar, it's extremely heavy. It's really hard to see the queen when the bees are so dark. Maybe it should be on this last frame. If not, I'm not gonna keep looking. Um, there's plenty of brood in here. I imagine there's some eggs in here. Oh, they got a piece of weird comb again. Ah, let's see if I can get that piece of comb collapsed. If I can get it up, I can get it out of there. Another ratty frame I gave him just to fix up. I want to see exactly how much bees will do, how much they'll fix. This little black comb down here is just full of nectar. I'm just shaking it out. They'll clean it back up. Oh man, I need to stretch my back out again. Okay, um, so I never did see the queen on here. A 
I'll let them go about fixing all this. I'm gonna add another, add a medium to the top of this. Watch her be on this first frame. I hate when that happens. Nope, not on here. All right, we're gonna close them up. Pretty nice, well-behaved bees. They, they did sting me when I when I put them in the box at first, but I was kind of rough with them, so I don't blame them. All right, that's the end of this video. You're gonna miss me putting a medium box on top here and then the lid, but you know what that looks like. Thanks for watching Swarmstead Bees and Gardening, baby. This is my favorite county in the whole world. Um, my favorite bees in the whole world, best genetics I've ever had, um, but this box doesn't have any frames in it. No frames, so I'm gonna add a box to the bottom. Try to get the queen to move down. Then I'll do a cutout on them uh, in a few days. I want to change the bottom board too. I got a piece of shit bottom board here. I don't even know what I was thinking there. I can't lift the lid or all the combs will come up so I'm gonna just pop it here I'm not using smoke right now because I'm hoping this only take a minute <clears throat> I'm also hoping the combs ain't attached to the bottom okay they aren't attached to the bottom I don't know what you can see. I can't even see it. I really don't want to sit this thing down, so I'm going to just move the bottom board. There's a whole carpenter bee, um, carpenter ant nest under here, so I can't even sit this down. This isn't going exactly the way I planned it. I wasn't expecting this carpenter ant nest under here. But hopefully they'll just stay where they're at. Put this new bottom board down. And there's another free hand nest up here. it here's the bottom board a bunch of dust on it, a bunch of a couple of little high beetles these are my little tiny bees they're like the tiniest things I've ever seen can't really tell but they're tiny <laughs> 